Keep it. Good. Good. It's good to see that you guys fire accurately at close distances. Good work on today's shooting. At the conclusion of our training, we often give out patches to all the guys and women that we've trained, and it's always kind of a bitter, sweet moment. In a week, two weeks, a month, they will be a part of the counteroffensive. They'll be clearing trenches and fighting in cities. And we only had five days to, to train with them. People aren't aware of just how bad this fight is and the scale of it. There are so many people that need training and I'm just a photographer. I came to Ukraine over 15 months ago. Initially, I came with the intention of documenting what was happening here. But when I got to the border and I saw just how bad the situation was, I decided to put my camera down and find more concrete ways I could help. I joined a group of volunteers and we began handing out aid. That's when I first started meeting Ukrainian soldiers. They were like me, they were photographers, they were artists, they were bakers, they were plumbers, and they didn't have the basics that you know, any Western soldier would get in terms of training. They asked if I had any contacts that could help come train them. During that time, I was also in touch with a group of people that I knew that have served in the American and British military. We formed Task Force 31, which is now a Ukrainian charity foundation to train Ukrainian soldiers inside of Ukraine. We have trained around 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Unfortunately, due to our limitations of how many instructors we have in country, we've often been unable to meet a lot of the training requests. We know that 60 or 70,000 Ukrainians have uh, been taken overseas and have been given training, and that's great. But the reality is there are hundreds of thousands that need training, and it is impossible to send them all overseas. The most logical thing would be to train Ukrainians inside of Ukraine. But Western governments have resisted funding training because they fear an increased presence of foreign volunteers might lead to escalation. Over the last 15 months, a lot of training groups that have come here have left. Those that have remained have banded together to develop a nationwide training program. The program we came up with is a one-month program to train a brigade, which is about four to 500 folks, with 16 trainers and five interpreters, focusing on combined arms operation, mission command, from brigade level, battalion, company, platoon, squad level. We have Ukrainian instructors as well, and we teach them how to teach. The best way to help Ukraine is not by putting another Westerner in the fight, but by force multiplying and by training Ukrainians so that they then can train more Ukrainians. Ukrainians don't have luxury time. They're in an existential fight right now. Bringing in another couple hundred qualified instructors is not gonna escalate anything. It's just gonna save Ukrainian lives. Russia's blowing up dams, bombing Kyiv every other night. It's escalated. These Band-Aid solutions are not enough. We will continue to do it. And every group of 80 guys that we train that's 80 people that have a better chance of surviving this war, and that's worth it. But it, it should be 80,000 that we're training. For the last 15 months, I've been organizing training like this, and I wish we had more time, but in the five days, you guys did such an incredible job. <laughs> Slava Ukraini! Hey, 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 hey,